What's going on, guys? It's FrostGFX here, and I have a saving tutorial for you guys today. And basically, it covers, you know, how to make a background's file size when you use, like, interface backgrounds and stuff that is really big and um, takes, off a, takes up a lot of space and stuff. How to get those type of backgrounds in a small enough file but still have the quality really good so that it uploads. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. I made this background. It's right here. But here's it as a PNG. You can tell that the file is 1.99 megabytes, which is too large to upload to YouTube as a background. In order to upload to YouTube as a background, it has to be below 1 megabyte. So if it's in the 900s, normally it'll upload. I like to keep mine in the 800s. If it's in the 800 uh, kilobyte range, it always seems to upload. So I make I I'm always safe when sending to a client because I don't want them to be like, "Yo, my background doesn't work." That wouldn't be cool. So I like to keep mine in the 800s. Um, but you can see, this is full quality PNG, top of the line. This is the uh, save type I use for uh, logos, avatars, um, desktop backgrounds, stuff like that. Um, but as far as backgrounds goes, I normally use JPEG because they're a little bit smaller and I can uh, do a couple things to where the quality is really good. Alright, now we're going to get into the Photoshop aspect and me actually showing you what I do to save. Alright, here's the exact same background. As you see it's pretty fancy. It's got a lot of uh, interface stuff in it, lots of textures, lots of different elements and stuff. Um, even down to the little things like the question mark and everything. So, here's what we gotta do to this background. We gotta find a way to save this background so that it's below one megabyte. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, most people would just go to File, Save As. That's not what you wanna do in this case. In this case, you wanna go up here to File, and Save for Web and Devices. Now, let it load up. Alright. See, mine's automatically JPEG, but when you op when you do this at first, it's going to be on PNG 24, and it's going to still show up a size, but for some reason when I record, this number freezes and doesn't move. But, PNG 24 is, uh, like I said, the highest you can save as. Um, what I do, uh, is I change this, I go here, and go straight down the JPEG. And then I like to make my quality above 88 because if I go below 88, it's um not going to be good quality. So you have to stay above 88. And I like to keep it above 90 if possible. And if I were to save this to 100, which I will right now, just as an example, you'll see that the file, oh, it's not that one this one ah. it's still too big it's still 1.26 megabytes so what I like to do is I like to play with it a bit and I like to try for 92 because 92 is a fair fair quality so if you can get 92 like so um, the quality is still gonna be really good this is the quality and it's gonna be pretty good as you can see and I'm going to save it. <coughs> I'm going to replace it because I just made that last file. And as you can see, it's right here. And properties, it's in the 800 range. This will definitely upload to YouTube. It's just the little things that file safe for webbing devices is going to help you guys out a lot. Now, just for example, if I go to my YouTube. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to upload. And why is my thing going untitled? If I go to my YouTube, my computer sometimes is really stupid. And I don't know why. Sometimes it's flies. Other times it's slow. I mean, it depends how many things I have up right now. I have a lot up, but you guys just can't see it because I hit it. Um, I'm going to pause that because that's annoying. Um... As you can see, if I go up here and I upload this file on my desktop, even though it's a partner background, you'll still be able to see it. 885 JPEG, 
and it's uploading relatively quick. It's at 40% already. So while I'm talking, just make sure you're you go up here and go save for web and devices. Change that. Try to keep it in the 90s. Keep it above 88. Um, if you do that, you should be all right. Now you'll see here that it uploaded right. Okay, and the quality's pretty dang good. So I'm gonna delete that, cancel that. All right. Now just a few things to take with you. Um. Uh, just some points. Um, the more colors you use, the bigger the file. So, for example, this background right here is uh, black and white. Full P PNG. Almost point seven less than um, this colored one. So the less colors you use, the darker the colors, the less space. Um, the brighter, the more space. Of course, um, beveling really takes up a lot of space and um, stuff like that. And adding any type of textures and stuff adds a lot more. So you want to watch how many textures you add up to. But as long as you go to save for webbing devices, you should be all right. You should be able to find the quality that's still very good and um, will upload to YouTube as well. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a comment below if you have an idea on another tutorial. Um, I'm glad to help any of you guys out. Um, if you want to message me, that's fine too. doesn't really matter. Just uh, take it easy, guys. Peace out.